From month to month, we saw a lot of big switches. So I'm going to walk you through this, but hang on because it's a lot of back and forth. Let's start with January. So January was very cloudy, only 20% possible sunshine, and it was a warm month with less snow than usual. Remember how it seemed like winter would never hit? And then February arrived. February was incredible. We started with a massive snow deficit. We were short almost 35 inches of snow in Grand Rapids, 40 inches of snow in Muskegon, and close to 30 inches of snow in Kalamazoo. But we saw such cold air smack us in February that we caught up by a long shot. February landed six degrees colder than usual, and about 30 inches of new snow fell across the region, helping to bump us up closer to average. That trend did not continue on through March, though. Instead, March was met with just sunshine. In fact, by the time we got to about March 19th, we had already tied for sunniest March on record, and we saw the sunniest span of weekends ever on record for the month of March. Now, unfortunately, this did help to play into a drying trend that continued to take over for April and May. March, April, and May were all drier than average, and we saw drier than average conditions lead into severe drought. Here's a look at May. By the time we got to the month of May, we had severe drought across Ottawa County, Kent County, Ionia, stretching all the way back down to Van Buren County. And you'd think that we'd keep that for the rest of the year, but we didn't. Then we flipped again and we went to June. June was incredibly wet. In fact, eight inches of rain fell. That's four inches more than usual. We saw flood alerts across the region that did help with some of our drought and putting it in check, but we also had to watch for some severe storms and tornadoes, four of which were confirmed in West Michigan on June 26th. Some of the strongest of those tracked through Ionia, and that's what you're seeing here with some of the images on this screen. If we look at all the tornado warnings issued for the state of Michigan throughout the entire year, many of them were on the east side of 131, and we didn't really see too many tornadoes validated in actual West Michigan, just again, a lot of chances of rain and a lot of chances of storms. Now, by the time we got to early August, we saw a decent amount of rain, but checking in on the Great Lakes, they had continued to fall. Through the year, Great Lakes regions, especially Lake Michigan, lost about a foot and a half in the water levels. So we continued the dry trend through the heart of the summer, and as we got into months like July and August, we saw a lot of wildfire smoke. This is an incredibly smoky season for us here. And we also saw more storms in July and August. Remember the July derecho that basically missed West Michigan? And then came August, and we saw some stronger lines of storms, which knocked out even more power. After that, we transitioned into a very warm fall. Both September and October came in warmer than average. In fact, October was 5.5 degrees warmer than average, delaying our colors considerably, and you'll notice helping to take care of our drought even further. Colors finally peaked in the month of November, and in the month of November, we became cooler than average again with about 10 inches of freshly fallen snow. Then into December, where it was just plain windy and warm, very spring-like with some wind gusts closer to 50 to even 60 miles per hour. So hopefully moving into 2022, it's a little more tame for us here in West Michigan. Yes, let's hope so. Yeah. All right, thanks, Helen.